Louise Pratt joins us this morning from Sydney Airport on her return flight to Perth. Nice to have you back, Senator. Tell us, uh, what was the mood like in that, uh, that uh, caucus meeting in Balmain yesterday? The mood was really positive and strong. Uh, you know, we went through some difficult decisions in relation to the PNG asylum seeker move, but I know the caucus certainly emerged feeling that that's the right decision, you know, and also some great uh, moves forward in terms of party participation and some optimistic feelings about the election also. So, yeah, a really good meeting in my view. How about you personally? Are you comfortable with the uh, decision to essentially send all asylum seekers now to Papua New Guinea? Uh, look, I, I wouldn't use comfortable as the right word because, you know, these are, it's clearly a difficult decision. It uh, clearly has an impact on the lives of, uh, uh, of people who will be transferred there. So, you know, comfortable and happy is not the kind of right word that I would use, but I think it was the right decision and an ethical decision to make. Will it work? Uh, well, I, I um, have every confidence that if anything's going to work, this will. Um, you know, it, it is... Um, we're, we're offering people asylum in PNG. They can have resettlement. But if it's a migration outcome to Australia, which we believe is part of the draw card for people getting on those boats, that's something they won't get. How worried are you about uh, Labor being able, the government being able to get the facilities on uh, Manus Island and elsewhere working fast enough to simply take the numbers that we're now seeing? Uh, look, that, that will certainly be a challenge, but, you know, we've invested in facilities quickly in other places around the globe. Uh, you know, I have every confidence that they'll be able to put some basic facilities in place that will uh, serve the purpose until some more permanent ones can be built. But, you know, it's certainly a challenge. Papua New Guinea is a place that has laws that are uh, foreign to us, laws, for example, against homosexuality. Um, uh, it has quite extreme poverty. It has violence problems. Uh, all of those would worry you, wouldn't they, in terms of this plan? Well, you know, ironically enough, Papua New Guinea's laws on homosexuality are not foreign to us. They were actually inherited from Queensland. So, uh, you know, um, that. That, that's uh, from what I understand, and I'm doing looking at this issue. There haven't been any prosecutions under that law, uh, and that you know, uh, homosexuality is something that's commonly uh, it takes place in a different cultural context. But that you know, homosexual acts aren't uncommon in PNG. Uh, look, and the broader point that you're making about PNG's uh, vulnerability as a nation—it is a developing nation. Services are under pressure there, but our obligations under uh, the United Nations uh, right to seek asylum mean that people have the need to be protected for their attributes. It's not a migration outcome, if you like, to be somewhere that's economically secure. So, you know, I can acknowledge those challenges. The uh, Prime Minister obviously has the carriage on when the election is called. Um, Louise Pratt, what's your thought? Do you think we would be better going to an election quickly? Let's get this done? Or do you think, whoa, there's no need for the hurry. We'll do it in good time. I'm comfortable for whenever the Prime Minister chooses to call it. Uh, and, but, you know, I think the Australian people would probably be quite happy to get it over and done with fairly soon. Uh, and you would be as well. Oh, look, campaigns are always really busy, uh, stressful times with a lot of work to do. You know, on one hand, you're like, let's get, get it happening, uh, get it over with. On the other hand, it's always, uh, you know, a bit of a relief to have a few extra days up your sleeve. To, clo to, to close, the Greens this morning have confirmed that, that they su support a paid parental leave scheme that, whilst mm. not quite as generous as the Tony Abbott formula, is pretty generous. Um, do you feel a little bit like the poor cousin now, given that Labor's paid parental leave scheme is the least generous on offer? Look, certainly not. You know, I would, if we were in Scandinavia or Northern Europe somewhere with a high-taxing country... 
uh, you know, I think we could probably afford a, a parental leave scheme like the coalition's put forward. But that's not the kind of country that we live in. Uh, the Greens are high taxing, Labor likes to be low taxing. The coalition can't have its cake and eat it too. So we want to be a low taxing country at the same time as saying we want to roll gold um, paid maternity leave. It just doesn't add up. Senator Louise Pratt, have a safe flight back to Perth. Thank you for coming on Breaking Politics today. It's a pleasure. Thank you.